I participate in historical reenactments depicting the life of the 1700s. I've done historical presentations at elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, colleges, museums, powwows, historical sites, and state parks, just to mention a few. I've always wanted to add a birch bark canoe to my presentations, but was unable to afford one. I decided to make a replica birch bark canoe. I started by getting an 18 foot 1925 canvas Old Town canoe that was in bad shape. I did a light sanding to clean up the wood on the canoe. I had to replace some of the planks that were broken or missing altogether. A friend helped me rebuild the bow and the stern. I painted the West System two-part epoxy onto the planks to give them a little added strength. I sanded the bow and stern to make the new planks fit flush with the old planks. I laid some fiberglass cloth on the bottom of the canoe. I applied the West System epoxy to the fiberglass, allowed it to dry, then sanded it smooth. I took the canoe out for a short paddle just to check for possible leaks. Because the canoe was handling so well, the short paddle turned into a little bit longer trip than anticipated. I added a 4 inch wide strip of fiberglass down the middle of the canoe to replace the keel. I also added a strip of fiberglass to the bow and stern for added strength and protection. I took a piece of birch bark to Kush paints and had them make me some custom paint to match the birch bark. I added some neoprene caulking to resemble pine pitch. I needed a 24 foot strip of wood, so I cut an old teepee pole for the outwales. I clamped the outwales in place and applied hot water and steam to bend the wood. I then screwed the outwales in place. This will be a temporary fix until I can get some cedar to replace the teepee poles. The teepee poles were just too old and brittle to bend. I then started adding fine lines and detail to the paint job. I added some wood stain in areas for added shading. I then sanded the inside of the canoe. I added some Thompson's water seal to protect the wood. I used wicker furniture lashing to resemble spruce root. And then I started lashing both the bow and the stern. Once I replace the outwales with cedar, then I'll add lashings to the outwales.